and hi welcome everyone welcome to today's video so today this video is entitled from Mint to Manjaro because uh, well uh, I as a Linux Mint user uh, I, I decided to hop on over to Manjaro to try out of curiosity okay so um, who this video is for um, well uh, it's for you if you are if you are a similar profile to me I'm somewhat interested in tech and of course as you see on my channel I'm an open form user I like free and cheap stuff and I'm not a heavy gamer, so uh, I mainly use uh, YouTube, Google Drive, and GitHub a lot. So for these kind of things, uh, casual surfing, casual gaming, um, and coding, uh, Linux Mint is uh, kind of ideal for me. But I also tr uh, like to try Manjaro, because actually I, I have two laptops, and one of them is the more heavy-duty laptop for like heavy, heavy... Uh, heavy open phone calculations or simulations. Then the other one is the one I kind of like to bring around because it's more lightweight. So the one that's more lightweight, I used to put a Linux Mint Debian Edition on it. Okay, oops, Linux Mint Debian Edition. Okay, uh, I used to put Linux Mint Debian Edition on this one, but uh, because of some Wi-Fi issues, maybe some of it kept dropping. So I decided to switch over to a later kernel which I know Manjaro would do. Okay, so uh, I rinse, I wiped the whole disk and did Manjaro on this so that uh, I could get my Wi-Fi working properly. So yeah, one of the things is I like about Manjaro as compared to Linux Mint, at least the Debian edition, the kernels are way more updated, way more quickly. So if you look at NeoFetch, this is uh, the kernel at 5.8.18, okay? And whereas Linux Mint Debian edition is about uh, uh, kernel 4. Point something okay and 4.4 or something if I remember correctly I can't remember which is which but um, also um, the Uyana Linux Mint 20 Uyana uh, it's at version 5.4 so um, as you might know or might not know uh, Manjaro is an arch based uh, distro so it likes to have the latest of almost everything and in fact if you if you type in kernel inside this uh, KD Plasma search bar, you are able to change the kernels that you're operating on. So this is one of my one of my uh, likable things about Manjaro. So yeah, Linux Mint will be around here. The LTS and Linux Mint Debian Edition will be somewhere around here, 4.4. Okay. So this is one of the good things about that. Okay. Um, well, so yeah, here are some things I like about it. One is the kernels. The other is the Arch user repositories. Uh, that, that make it extremely in easy to install open form so they have a very good uh, app store as well so to speak so this is this is what the app store looks like all right um, and if you do if you go to look at the preferences you okay so I can type in my passwords here um, okay you can actually uh, enable the arch user repositories which is over here you can enable snaps and you can enable flat packs it's up to you what you want to get okay so there's a large range of stuff you can download and if you look at open form okay you can download uh, you can download the ESI version which I have okay uh, you can even download the open form uh, um, okay open form dot um, org version 8.1 you can just uh, build it from source straight away here and the app store will just automate everything for you so that's the way uh, uh, the Manjaro uh, works. Uh, Manjaro's uh, Arch, at least the Manjaro's app store uses this Arch user repository. Um, so very, very user friendly in my opinion. Okay, especially for uh, some of these. And for the free cat, for example, I like to use a flat pack. So because there was some dependency, some bugs with it. So you have to, have to use uh, the free cat uh, flat pack version rather than the official repository version because it kind of clashes with uh, open form but that's not a big issue for me okay and of course uh, the other thing I really like uh, besides the kernels is they're really updated look at the desktop here okay of course you can ignore ignore all of this this is my customization but there are, um, there are a great selection of wallpapers available for Manjaro's KDE Plasma and oh this is absolutely gorgeous i like cats a lot so i'm very happy that this uh, that manjaro has a cat themed wallpaper and you can even get this uh, clock widget running 
okay and uh, it's way more pretty than say anything that mint has okay mint is very good uh, if you're just hopping over from windows uh, but manjaro as a linux distro itself it's also some somewhat easy to hop over from windows but it is a uh, it is uh, what do you call that a little bit uh, uh, how to say yeah it takes a little bit of more of a learning curve okay slightly more maybe about five percent you have to work maybe five percent harder all right oh one more thing that i like about manjaro before i go is uh the fact that it's a rolling release okay rolling release uh, that means you don't need to worry about major software updates or major kernel updates so what am i talking about so linux mint uh, it has many versions okay you had version 19 i think about last year um, so they released a long-term support version every two years so that's the way it keeps up with the ubuntu okay uh, but uh, manjaro is a rolling release meaning to say the kernel will keep updating and the software will keep updating as you go so you don't have to worry about in reinstalling a whole new a whole new um, a whole new package or a whole new os every time there's an update and the fire long-term support time is up for linux mino ubuntu so that's just a preference thing okay um what i don't like about manjaro is that you have to disable secure boot by default so that takes a little bit of effort to do and if you uh, like security like me i mean the, the feeling of being safe okay the feeling of being safe I, I don't like it that security features have to be disabled uh, for this to start but um, seeing how manjaro in general is pretty uh, up to date pretty uh, you know uh, i mean linux itself is pretty secure okay and Manjaro and Arch, they are at the forefront. The kernels are always updated to the latest. It makes it a lot harder to hack because the system keeps changing. And that's, that's my take on it. I'm not a professional, but um, that's that's how I see things, okay? It's an opinion. Uh, feel free to disagree and correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you can leave some comments if you have, okay? Um, the second thing is that I found partitioning very hard during the install. That means if I, if I wanted to uh, make a manual root partition and a manual uh, mouse point for the home partition, that was also difficult. But uh, anyway, that's, that's just uh, something that I didn't like. Okay, And then also you cannot install Salome easily if you're an open form user. Okay? If you're an open form user and I, I, like me, you like to use uh, Salome, uh, it is not easy to install it on uh, Manjaro or Arch based systems, but you can on uh, Ubuntu and Fedora. Okay, Their Manjaro is not uh, directly supported, and even if you use the App Store, okay, you can search for Salome in the App Store, and you will find one in the repository. Okay, you will find one in the repository, but uh, again, these are not the latest versions. Okay, these are not the latest versions. Salome now is at about 9.5, I think. The one in the Arch user repository is about 8.3. And um, I, I, I don't see... And I tried installing this and it gave me some problems. So it's, it's not so easy to install Salome, which is something I really don't like. Okay, uh, last but not least, um, the default task manager for Manjaro is htop, which is not a GUI, not a graphical user interface. So, so if you look for task manager, okay, you won't find anything here. Okay, but the process viewer by default, I think is a htop. Htop is great, okay, but it's all uh, non-GUI, as you can see. It's a, it's a command line kind of a thing. And if you open this up and you type htop, okay, so you, you'll be able to see all the tasks, okay, but this, this does take some getting used to. Okay, I mean, other than that, uh, you will have to change from sudo, uh, you have to change your habits if you're coming from Linux Mint or Ubuntu type system, from sudo app do something, now you have to use sudo pacman, okay, if you're not sure what to do, just uh, type the help, help button and you're yeah, good to go, okay, but uh, this, this summarizes my experience with Manjaro, hopping over from Linux Mint, and actually hopping over from Windows for that matter. So thanks for watching. See you again.